So Great Joy came out of nowhere. I've never heard of them before. Uh, they just started a crowdfunding campaign to fund both this anamorphic adapter as well as another anamorphic lens, and that is a complete lens. Um, they are designed to work together. Uh, if you would like to achieve a 1.8 times anamorphic squeeze, I'm not interested in that. I'm much more interested in this anamorphic adapter, and that's because it opens up the world of having so many more combinations for different characteristics of lenses. You can use iconic stills lenses, which is amazing. Um, the one key thing and why I mentioned stills lenses is because the lens must have a front objective of 67 millimeters or smaller. So most cinema lenses and especially iconic cinema lenses are not going to have a front objective this small, but still much better than the SLR Magic, which has a very tiny, I believe uh, 52 millimeter uh, front objective requirement. Uh, but you'll see here, it does have a reasonable amount of sharpness. It is not nearly, uh, or I shouldn't say not nearly, but it is not as sharp as the Contax Zeiss without the adapter. But that's to be expected with an anamorphic. Um, I did also test this on the Contax Zeiss 50mm Prime, the 50mm 1.4. And that lens was definitely sharper, which could be expected since it is a prime. Um, but without the anamorphic adapter, that prime is actually just about as sharp as this Contax 35 to 70 zoom because this is such a phenomenal zoom. So different anamorphic adapters do react um, with different lenses differently. So you do have to test before you uh, put it into practice. I would say that 50 millimeter uh, prime was as sharp at f2.8 as this is at f5.6. Right now I'm testing at f4 with this lens um, and f4 is about as wide at a, as I would go on this lens, which is almost wide open considering it's an f3.4 anyway. The real benefit of this contact zoom is the convenience. You have essentially a bag full of lenses here, uh, especially for anamorphics. You have everything from you know 35 all the way to 70 millimeters, and there is no uh, vignetting, which is amazing. So it's really just for convenience. And uh, especially because this is a push-pull zoom, um, Essentially, as you'll see here, you have the lens support, which is definitely needed because the front adapter weighs about two pounds. Uh, so be careful with that, especially since also most stills mounts are EF or E or whatever, not uh, like an REPL. And you pretty much just loosen the lens support and then bring it all forward, pushing it back and forth. And that's good enough to make adjustments without having to completely take off the adapter and start fresh like you would primes. Uh, so it is pretty convenient in that regard. Um, and one negative is when you do use a follow focus, the front lens objective does zoom in and out. But with the 270 degree throw, it is sufficient at making stills lenses into proper cinema lenses.